titled Drama Based on Characters and a so-called uh, Justice League Dark Universe, details of which were being kept under wraps. Uh, Justice League Dark um, de debuted in um, DC Comics in 2011, and I have those comics um, because of that whole revamp they did after, I think it was, Flashpoint, which was a good good show. Uh, I mean, a good uh, eight-part comic book series. That's worth reading as part of DC. Why they didn't continue that storyline forever afterwards, I don't know, which is, which is made DC for a while they're quite disappointed until the rebirth. Um, so that was in 2011 that they started um, Justice League Dark. And as a team featuring magic, as I mentioned, uh, magic based characters, Zatanna, Dead Man, Swamp Thing, and John Constantine. So over the years, Warner Bros. has attempted to get a um, big screen version off the ground. Of course, they did the Justice League Dark um, animation series worth watching, uh, sorry, movie worth watching. Um, and the, um, so, so they've been trying to get a big version of the film um, off the ground with uh, filmmakers such as Doug Lyman and Guillermo del Toro and coming and going. So they tried, didn't work. So Warner Brothers streamer DC Universe also had a um, short-lived drama series based on Swamp Thing, as you all know, if you've been watching um, the DC Universe series, um, I mean, network broadcast of the um, uh, single season Swamp Thing. And we talked about that uh, previously with Rico. Talking about Rico, hey guys, Rico's not doing well. Please send out some good vibes to him. I miss him because uh, I, 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 even though we only had a couple um, broadcasts with him, I actually enjoy having him here to bounce off. Uh, he's a really cool guy to hang out with and just being able to do that. So I've been, I'm hoping that he gets well that we can do, a, you know, live stream together. Uh, so, right. So and and they also produced, um, you know. Um, the short-lived um, Constantine series. Of course, I was quite excited to see John Constantine come into the Arrowverse later on because of uh, Amel. Can't remember his first name. That sucks. I can All I can remember is um, St Stephen Amel, right? Uh, Oliver himself. So you know, he was Oliver was quite excited, you know, and pushed for Con John to come into uh, his into the universe. Arrowverse. So then they, of course, the best place for him was in the DC uh, Legends uh, of Tomorrow, and that was pretty cool. I, I think I watched a few seasons, I mean, three, four seasons of that and enjoyed that. I enjoyed seeing him in it. It just got to me, it, was, it just got really messy after a while. I just They didn't know, it felt like they just didn't know what to do with him. Uh, but of course, he's a magician, so, and he's into, um, demonology, you know, angels and all that stuff, um, demons. So you got to like let him play on that, but they don't, didn't use him enough as far as I felt. And they should have just went, hey, now that we set his character, we've already given him a show, people liked it. Now we've run to, um, to your universe, why don't we go back and make another season where he's the main character of his own show and carry on with the Constantine universe. All right, so. Right, so uh, here's a quote. What an amazing start to association with wildly imaginative vet robot team under JJ and Katie. Kevin Riley, content, uh, chief content officer at HBO Max, said Thursday in a statement. That would be yesterday. Uh, what could be better than an original JJ idea and Warner Brothers? I. <laughs> that is a weird quote. Like, what, what could be better than an original idea? Dude. Justice League Dark, The Shining, are not original ideas. They just hashing up ideas already there. So don't know what he's thinking about that. So, but yeah, and then um, what well, could be? Yeah. So then he goes letting them loose on I iconic IP and, um, from Stephen King and the DC Universe, and to provide must-have programming on uh, HBO Max. And as all you guys know, with uh, JJ Abrams with with the Star Wars debacle, you already know that. I'm going to talk about that. So all the all three series will be exactly produced by uh, Abrams. Bad Robots head of uh, television, Ben Stevenson, with the company exec um, vice um, president uh, t of TV, Rachel Roche, Rich, uh, serving as co as a co EP executive producer, uh, 
uh, for um, Warner Brothers International TV Distribution will handle uh, global distribution of all three programs. So that's basically just going to be HBO uh, with their streaming.